Hey guys welcome to HRG Zone YouTube channel. And today I am gonna show you the top 33 best mid-spec PC games 2024. So sit back and relax. Starting off number 33. For Honor is an action game set during a medieval, fantasy setting. Players can play as a character from one of five different factions, namely the Iron Legion, Knights, the Warborn, Vikings, the Dawn Empire, Samurai, and the Wu Lin, Ancient Chinese. Number 32 is Medal of Honor, Warfighter is a first-person shooter video game. Features from the previous game such as Peak and Lean, Requesting Ammunition, Now Unlimited, and Sliding Returned. Number 31 is Darksiders 3 is a action role-playing game. Fury, a mage who is described as the most unpredictable and enigmatic of the four horsemen, relies on whips, swords, flails, daggers and magic in combat. Number 30 is Hellblade, Senua's sacrifice tells of a warrior's brutal journey into myth and madness. Set in the Viking Age, a broken Celtic warrior embarks on a haunting vision quest into Viking hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Number 29 is Anthem combines third-person shooter and action role-playing game elements in a contiguous open world shared with up to three other players. Each player takes the role of a freelancer donning fully customizable exosuits called javelins. Number 28 is Far Cry 4 is a first-person action-adventure game. Players assume control of Ajay Gale, a karate American who is on a quest to spread his deceased mother's ashes in the fictional country of Kirat. Ajay may utilize various short and long-range firearms. Number 27 is Need for Speed Payback is a racing game set in an open-world environment of Fortune Valley, a fictional version of Las Vegas, Nevada. It is focused on action driving and has three playable characters working together to pull off action movie-like sequences. Number 26 is Battlefield 4 is a first-person shooter video game. For the most part, the player must traverse mini sandbox style levels, in some cases using vehicles, like tanks and boats, to traverse the environment. Number 25 is Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor is a third-person open-world action-adventure video game, where the player controls a ranger by the name of Talion who seeks revenge on the forces of Sauron after his family. Number 24 is Crisis 3 is a first-person shooter. Players take control of Prophet as he progresses through New York City to defeat the Ceph, a technologically advanced alien race. Throughout the game, players can slide, sprint, jump and crouch. Number 23 is Mad Max is an action-adventure game set in an open-world post-apocalyptic environment caused by resource shortages and ecocide. It emphasizes vehicular combat, in which the player is the eponymous Mad Max. Number 22 is Dying Light is a survival horror video game played from a first-person perspective. The game is set in an open-world environment called Heron. Initially, an area named the slums can be freely explored, later adding a second area, accessible via sewers, called Old Town. Number 21 is Metal Gear Solid 5 the Phantom Pain is a stealth game in which players take the role of punished, venom, snake from a third-person perspective in an open world. Number 20 is Rage 2 is a first-person shooter. Players assume control of a ranger named Walker, who is free to explore the game's apocalyptic open world. Players are given control over some of Walker's attributes, such as their gender, skills, or attire. Number 19 is Mafia 3 is an action-adventure game set in an open-world environment and played from a third-person perspective, in which the player assume control of Lincoln Clay, a Vietnam War veteran on a quest to seek revenge for his adopted family. Number 18 is Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game is a well-crafted and unique racing title that attempts to capture the unique elements of dirt bike racing. The game is fun and has a lot of detail in its gameplay elements as well as the riders, bikes, and tracks included. Number 17 is Morbid, 
The Lords of Ayer is a continuation and reinvention of the critically acclaimed isometric souls-like ARPG Morbid, the Seven Acolytes, with the heroic Striver returning once more to do battle with horrific creatures in a dark and twisted world of pain and suffering. Number 16 is Assassin's Creed Unity is an action-adventure, stealth game played from a third-person perspective and set in an open-world environment. The game features a historical recreation of Paris in the late 18th century at a roughly 1 colon 1 scale. Number 15 is Forza Horizon 3 is a racing video game set in an open-world environment based in a fictional representation of Australia. The player is now the director of the festival, and their role is to expand it throughout Australia by completing races. Number 14 is Doom is a first-person shooter. In the single-player campaign, the player controls the Doom Slayer, also known to the Doom fandom as Doom Guy. Gameplay consists of fast movement and frenetic combat against aggressive and mobile opponents. Number 13 is Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice You Are the One-Armed Wolf, a disgraced and disfigured warrior rescued from the brink of death. Bound to protect a young lord who is the descendant of an ancient bloodline, you become the target of many vicious enemies, including the dangerous Ashina clan. Number 12 is Sifu is a run-based action beat m up game played from a third-person perspective. The game, which is inspired by Bok Mei Kung Fu, includes over 150 unique attacks. Number 11 is Rise, Son of Rome is an action-adventure hack and slash game played in a third-person perspective. Players assume control of Marius Titus, a Roman general who is on a quest to avenge his murdered family. Number 10 is Shadow Warrior 2 can be played in single-player mode, or in a new four-player co-op mode. In co-op mode, each player experiences the narrative as Lo Wang but sees other players as various anonymous ninjas. Number 9 is Rise of the Tomb Raider is a third-person action-adventure game in which players control Lara Croft, who is on a quest to discover the legendary city of Kitez. Combat is a major gameplay mechanic. Lara has a large variety of weapons at her disposal, including assault rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Number 8 is Sunset Overdrive is an action-adventure game set in a third-person perspective. Players navigate a metropolis called Sunset City in the year 2027. This dystopian world has been overrun by mutants called the OD, short for overcharged drinkers. Number 7 is Tom Clancy's The Division is an action role-playing game set in an open-world mid-crisis Manhattan with destructible environments that can be freely explored by the players. The player's mission is to restore order by investigating the source of a virus. Number 6 is Watch Dogs is an action-adventure game, played from a third-person view. The player controls hacker Aiden Pierce, who uses his smartphone to control trains and traffic lights, infiltrate security systems, jam cell phones, access pedestrians' private information, and empty their bank accounts. Number 5 is Titanfall 2 is a first-person shooter where players can control both a pilot and their titans, mecha-style robots that stand roughly 7 to 10 meters tall. The pilot has a large variety of equipment that enhance their abilities during combat. Number 4 is Fallout 4 is an action role-playing game set in an open-world environment. Returning features include a camera that can switch between a first-person and third-person perspective. Fallout 4 introduces features including a layered armor system, base building, a dialogue system featuring 111,000 lines of dialogue. Number 3 is Resident Evil 3 is a survival horror third-person shooter game. Although the player controls Resident Evil protagonist Jill Valentine through most of the game, certain sections require the player to control a supporting character, Carlos Oliveira, for short periods. Number 2 is The Evil Within Sebastian Castellanos, the protagonist, needs to make use of the environment and things he may find in order to survive. 
The game world can transform during scripted events and as a result of player actions, altering locations and creating new paths or teleporting the player to new areas. Sebastian can find and use syringes and medical kits to heal himself when injured. And number one is. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is presented in a first-person shooter perspective. The game features several significant changes, unlike other installments, Advanced Warfare does not use a traditional heads-up display, HUD, instead, all information is relayed to the player via holographic projections from the weapon equip. So that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video so please like this video and subscribe my channel and don't forget to notifications. So thanks again and see you soon on next video. And good, bye.